Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Oh, there it is. That, and guess what? Guess what? You guys get to see me for once, because it's a, it's got a wonderful glare on it. So, this is a Sony um, Vio. Vio? You call those Vio? Probably. This is a Sony Vio. So, this thing is really, really cool. And, by golly, is it one interesting PC. So, it's a full touchscreen TV and a PC. It's got HDMI inputs on it. It's got composite on it. And then it's also got an Intel i5 processor running Windows 7 Home, I think, with like, I don't know how many gigabytes of memory it has. Believe it or not, I actually acquired two of these in one week on Face and Marketplace, a white one and a black one. It's absolutely awesome to me to have the black edition Sony and the white edition older Sony. This one's a little bit of the older model. I mean, just look at that. I mean, that this thing is awesome. I mean, it's a touchscreen all in one. I mean, I've never owned a touchscreen all in one and it also be a TV. Like, I wish, honestly, I could mount this where my TV is up here, but I don't think it mounts the way that I think it's supposed to mount, though. That'd be so awesome, though. I mean, I can mount it on TV and be like, hey, okay, uh, touchscreening Windows, you know, and then like, hey, I gotta, I gotta do a couple things. I gotta create a USB thumb drive for it. You know, something like that and put it up there. My garage isn't heated, though, so that's not feasible. So to show what came in the package is a cord here. I got the giant chonky brick that it came with, and so did the other one come with that. So you got all your ports back here. I'm hiding the Windows key because some of you guys are weird. Um, over here is the product serial. You got three USBs over here. You got mic, uh, headphones, an S400 jack. USB, USB, and a micro SD port. Wow, that's sweet. Um, that's your embalms up there, power, and then on and off, and plus web button. It's also got a Blu-ray disc, which is really interesting too. So, uh, all right, let's flip this around. All right, well, let's, uh, let's turn it on for the very first time. Oh, honestly, the keyboard doesn't really matter to me, but uh, oh, there it is. Sony Vaya. I don't like that this lights up. That would bother me, but that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. Ooh, you guys got a light in your way. Let's turn that off. Oh, gosh, I wasn't paying attention. So we do have Windows 10 on here. Okay, that's what I thought. I can see that the mouse does... Uh, mouse does nothing while it's on, so... Oh, well. But uh, sweet, though. Absolutely sweet. So Windows 10 is going to load slow. Oh, I brought my, it's funny, I, I brought uh, all my equipment to install Windows 10 or 7. It's like we don't even need to go there. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select. Okay, we're going to make her go quiet, because... I want you to hear how beautiful the speakers sound on these. These They sound so crystal clear. I don't understand why. I mean, I got to check. Sony sold more of these. Also, I noticed something too. The mouse and keyboard work. I think. I don't know if they... Yeah. What? How? I guess it's got this connectivity. So, yes, we do have a working keyboard. Awesome. Let's do United States. And we'll just set this up without Wi-Fi. Always set up without Wi-Fi first. That's how I like to do it because it lets you do whatever the heck you want instead of having to connect to your account and do all that. If it doesn't know a wireless is there, then we're all set. Okay, I think I fixed the touchscreen issue. Maybe just a little bit. It's working a little better now. There's a little bit of water on the screen. Try to clean the screen off. So, all right. So, um, all right. Let's see how much RAM this thing has. I'm curious. We're going to install some stuff on this. I'm just curious, you know. But uh, what we can do with this, I don't want to wipe away the Windows 10 product key on here. So that's one thing I want to get because, you know, that works the way it's supposed to. So imagine it's going to be four gigabytes of memory. That I do think of. Yeah, it is. So the other one is Windows 8. It's a little more powerful. So four gigabytes is a lot. It's got an HDD. Does it have? Actually, I'm curious. Does it have? Is it one terabyte? Yes, it is. Okay, it is a one terabyte. So that's that's really cool. Awesome. 
So yeah, this is a really cool PC. This is great for like the average user using Microsoft Edge or something like that and then wants a touch screen or a kid wants to draw on it. If you're gonna have a kid that wants to like draw on something like this, I put a nice thick protection on this first. Um, but here's the thing I wanna show you guys. So we got a couple inputs over here. So I don't know if you guys will be able to see this on camera. You got the Blu-ray drive, that's what I'm told. And I can do see the Blu-ray diode on there, which is sweet. Um, also too, so we got the input selector. So this will show up in that corner up there, which actually looks a lot better than the other one. Um, so we're in PC mode right now. So I can push it and we can go to HDMI and I think you can select on it that way. So this will go to the HDMI input and if something was plugged into it, you could do that. So it says no signal before. Um, let's push that again. We can go over to composite, which is video. And then it'll go over to that, which is actually shows it up here in the corner. So now I can play like my old Wii or something old school, which is really sweet. That I love. We're on a little Xbox 360. It's all in one. That's what's that's what I like about some of these all in ones. Not all of them. Then you got a volume up button too. So pretty awesome. Uh, we're gonna go back to PC. Oops, so used to clicking input to also select. We go back to PC. Should click back there. So I want to play a sound on these speakers for you. Oh, that's cool. So when you turn up the the on the sound bar over here, the button up, it does it in Windows, which is really cool. So we're gonna turn it up pretty high, and then uh, I want you guys to wallow in a song called "Wrong" by Dan Hang. Um, it's on the audio library. I use this song all the time. It's royalty free. Um, let you listen to this. incredible sound system that is we're gonna play something not play that <laughs> that's another good one by Dan Hank too though so again this computer is really really awesome I mean I to me I know a lot of people are like oh man this is like a time capsule for me and I am on eBay these things go for like three four hundred dollars because it's so heavy to ship of course all right everyone well I want to say thanks for watching this video is a little bit long please like and subscribe I've been it's been really really rough it's been really really hard i keep saying that really hard for me mentally and physically so i'm trying my best to stay positive in the crazy world that we live in right now and hope that i live a long life and hope that everything goes okay for now at the moment i'm enjoying doing what i love to do which is computer technology and stuff like this and the old retro stuff um so by you pressing the subscribe button. I know it's I know it's gonna seem like me asking for subscribers. No, I'm not asking for the subscribers. I'm asking for you to become a friend with you through YouTube. So by you pressing that subscribe button is making my dream come true because if you ever had a dream, and I know what it's like to have a dream, and I'd do anything to make your dream happen too. So by pressing the subscribe button, you're making my dream come true. All right, everyone, want to say thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And as always, you're watching Tech Simplified.